This is the most well-researched educational video you can have on the WIAC Integrated Science Practicals right from the onset of the exam till now. Topics mentioned in this video are topics that you would find in almost all the past questions of the WIAC Integrated Science for WASI, NOVDEC and even the BEC. So let's start right away and look at the topics into details and what you are supposed to focus on when preparing for the WASI Integrated Science Practicals. I didn't include pictures that we normally find in our textbook so students don't accidentally um, think that what I have included in this video is what you are actually going to have in the exam. It actually doesn't happen like that. WIAC would never give you something that, you know, would help you get it so easy. You know, WIAC is a standard exam body. So let's start with the biology. So you have, you can have questions on nervous system, the excretory system, the ecosystem, plant nutrition, the transport system that is diffusion and osmosis, dentition in humans, digestion in humans as well, food and nutrition, the respiratory system, the skeletal system, cell division in the cell, diversity of living things, that has to do with taxonomy and so on. So let's look at some pictures that have to do with the topics mentioned. Okay, so you are aware that the WIAC exam doesn't actually draw the diagrams for you in a better view as you can see here, but this will give you a better picture of whatever you are going to have in your WASI so that as soon as you see it, you have an idea of what you are being asked to answer questions on. Okay, so this is something on ecosystem and this is a food web, food web, okay. So we keep scrolling downwards. This is the view of a plant, a leaf actually, okay. And this is a chloroplast. Okay, so as we scroll down, this is osmosis and diffusion. Sorry, this is actually diffusion, not osmosis. I believe osmosis, you would know from your textbook, you have a living cell. And this is the digestive system. You know, with um, the practical, the questions are very short. So if what you study didn't drop, you are, in, you are in a big trouble. So that's why you should watch this video till the end. And this is dentition. I already stated dentition in my topics. Once you focus on my topics, you are likely to get whatever you studied. Okay. So this is also the respiratory system. It doesn't really look like it, but you know, this is a unique diagram from a book. And this is a structure of the red blood cell. And this also has to do with the respiratory system. And this is reproduction in plants. Reproduction in plants. And this is a skeletal system, as mentioned in the biology parts. You should know all the parts, the type of special bones. Okay, so we have the chemistry side. And over here, there's a diagram of the preparation of ammonia gas. So it means you need to go through all of them, preparation of gas. Just recently, we had a preparation of hydrogen. So you should know preparation of gas, preparation of standard solution, and amazingly, in the 2023, why brought a question where even doing a preparation of a standard solution, you were asked to draw a graph in line with that. So graph is one of the things that you should really give attention to. So with the Greek side, you have here the diagram of a fish. You need to know fish farming, ruminants and non-ruminant production. You should be able to identify the ruminants and the non-ruminants. You should be able to label its parts. Crop production. Some crops can be drawn for you and then you'll be asked to identify and ways that they are propagated. Also soil and soil conservation. There are a lot of experiments on soil. There are a lot of experiments on soil that you need to really take note of. So this is just a presentation on just cassava. You have the soil here. And with physics as well, this diagram is showing you convection, conduction and radiation. So we scroll down, you have heat energy. These are the topics you are most likely to have in the physics heat energy measurements. With measurements, you can have different instruments and use in the science lab and how to 
um, use them to measure electrical energy as well, diagrams, you can get calculations, and with light energy as well. Mostly what you are giving is the one of the things that you one of the questions that you find with light energy is you are giving image distance and object distance and you relate it to magnification. So the theoretical knowledge is needed in order to be able to blow the particles and the environment. So we have weather season and climate. For the weather season and climate, we can be giving certain instruments using the study of the weather forecasting and then you'll be ident asked to identify, maybe give precautions with the two air movements, sea breeze, land breeze, then the nitrogen cycle, we have other cycles like water cycle and then carbon cycle as well and then with rocks. Thank you for watching this video, like and subscribe and then come back for more.